Hello guys, Johnny here with another deck tech. This time I am doing a deck tech on Toski, Bear of Secrets. It's a indestructible squirrel. It can't be countered and it must attack each turn. And whenever it deals combat damage, you draw a card. Start off with the lands. All right, we have 30 basic forests. And for the non-basic lands, I run a reliquary tower, a Karn's Bastion, a Tyrate Sanctum, Make my Squirrel of God. Rogue's Passage. Nyctos Shrine to Nyx. And Swarm Yard to regenerate my squirrels. And now on to artifacts. First one I have is a Gilded Lotus, Acorn Catapult, tap the one, tap it, deal one damage to the Indestructive Squirrel, and it produces a 1-1 one, one Squirrel token. Vanquisher's Banner, Neverall's Disc for Board Wipe, Sensei's Divining Top. Bow of Nalia to put counters on Toski and to give all my creatures Death Touch. The counters I can use, when I put them on Toski, I can use the Karn's Bastion to proliferate on it. Akroma's Memorial. Gives it flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, and haste. Whisper Silk Cloak. Toski or any of my other creatures I slap this on can't be blocked. Mimic Vat. Moss Diamond. Lightning Greaves. Ob Obelisk of Erd. I can convoke it. Um, and as I ch as the Erd enters the battlefield, I choose a creature type. Creature type creatures of the chosen type get plus two plus two. Black Bay Black Blade Reforged. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one for each land I control. Emerald Medallion. My green spells cost one generic less to play. Mirage Mirror. I can copy a artifact, a creature, or an enchantment, or a land until the end of turn. Arcane Signet. Jeweled Lotus for that first turn Toski. Locks it on Warhammer. Skull Clamp in case I need a draw. Felden's Cane, shuffling my library back into my shuffling my graveyard back into my library. and a soul ring from the green edition right next up we will go on to sorceries 
First sorcery. Genesis wave. Primal command. Harmonize. Overrun. Chatter of the squirrels. Acorn harvest. And the last sorcery I have is Recollect, essentially an eternal witness for sorcery speed. Now let's move on to the instance. I have a moment's peace. I have a fog. And Obscurian Haze. Yes, I'm running three fog effects in this deck. Um, I have a Heroic Intervention. A Worldly Tutor. A Reclaim. The only thing difference between this and Eternal Witness and Recollect is when you cast this, it puts target card from your graveyard on top of your library. Everybody's familiar with this card, Beast Within. Might of Oaks. And the only reason I do not have the other one because this is kind of squirrel themed and I just thought this was cute. Evolution Charm. You get to choose one. You can search for basic land. Uh, you can shuffle your library. You can search for land, put it to your hand, then shuffle your library. Or return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand, or target creature gains flying until end of turn. And the last instant that I have is Crows and Grip. It's got split seconds, so they cannot respond to it. All right. Next one is going to be enchantments. First enchantment, mana reflection. Doubling season. Blanchwood armor. Colossification. Nothing like building your commander up. Squirrel's nest. When you tap the land, it creates a 1-1 one -one squirrel. Alternate win card, Epic Struggle. It states as long as you have 20 or more creatures at the beginning of your upkeep, you win the game. Briar Patch. Whenever a creature attacks you, it gets a neg 1, neg 0 oh, until end of turn. Rancor. Leyline of the Life Force. My creature spells cannot be countered. Beastmaster Ascension. Druid's Call. Whenever enchanted creature is dealt damage, its controller puts that many 1-1 one -one counters, squirrel counters, squirrel tokens into play. Court of Bounty. It lets me cheat, cheat in. If I'm the monarch, it lets me cheat in an extra land or a creature. And the last enchantment is Growing Rights of Iclamod, which, give me a sec, I can show you. It essentially flips over to a guy's cradle. And that's all for my enchantments. Let's go to creatures. All right, creatures. Let's see. I've got a zoologist. Nothing spectacular, really, except for you can pay four. Reveal the top card. If it's a creature, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, it goes to your graveyard. 
That's why I have the dividing top in there. Crows and Beast. It, as long as you have Threshold, Crows and Beast gets plus seven, plus seven. Squirrel Mob. Squirrel Mob gets a plus one, plus one for each other squirrel on the battlefield. I chose this one just because I know squirrels can't get really that big. Uh, Scion of the Wild. Scion of the Wild's power and toughness are each equal to the number of creatures you control. So I have a bunch of 1-1 one -one squirrels in the play. This becomes however many in play. Seedborn Muse. Self-explanatory in this deck. Squirrel Wrangler. Uh, nut Collector. At the beginning of my upkeep, I may, it's a may ability, put a 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature token into play. If I have Threshold, all squirrels get plus 2, plus 2. So with that in play, I'm creating a token every upkeep. This is a new squirrel from Strixhaven. Scurred Colony. It's got reach, and it gets plus 2, plus 2, as long as I control eight or more lands, which is not a problem in this deck. Deranged Hermit. It's got Vanishing Counters. This is the other card I proliferate to keep it into play because squirrels I control get plus one, plus one. And when it enters the battlefield, I put four plus one, Four 1-1 one, one squirrels into play. And you can imagine what that does with uh, doubling season in play. And then, Eternal Witness. Bring something from my graveyard to hand. And finally, the reason for Mimic Vac. Deranged Hermit. It's got an Echo Cost. Instead of playing the Echo Cost, you exile it, and make a copy of it onto Mimic Vac, producing uh, four squirrel tokens into play. And all of the squirrels get plus plus one, plus one. So again, with doubling season, it's pretty evil. And for my last and final card in this deck, I have a Planeswalker. Nissa, who shakes the world. Whenever a forest I control, it basically doubles my forest. So with that in mana reflection, and then if you can read the, the bottom, I can put a plus one, plus one on a target. Uh, and it's a land. So that is my Toski deck. Now what I'd like for you guys to do is I'm going to put this on a couple different platforms. If you're already subscribed to me, thank you. What I'd like for you to do is share the link to a friend. Even if it's one or two of you, just share the link and get get my channel out there it'd be really helpful and for those of you on instagram i'd like you to do the exact same thing one or two of you see this video and you like it like subscribe and share it i've got 61 followers on instagram of course i just started that channel if i could get those 61 people to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and share i'm sure i'll have some uh more subscribers Thank you, have an excellent day, and happy gaming.